I never have heard of the town of Corinda, but in the summer of 1983, it was the centre of the universe for David Bowie. Out of all the places in the world, he chose this town in outback New South Wales to record the music video for his hit Let's Dance. In doing so, he put the town pub on the world stage and etched himself into local history. Philippa MacDonald visited Corinda, where locals are pondering the star's unexpected death. It was 33 years ago, but the locals remember David Bowie coming to town like it was yesterday. I think it gave us a little bit of fame. Mo Regan's sister had her photo taken with the rock legend. She said, David Bowie, I'm going, you're kidding me. And she said, no, no, David Bowie's in Corinda doing a film clip. And so it took me a while to actually believe her. Lena Peacock was behind the bar that day. She says she was dumbfounded. He just walked in and introduced himself to us. And everybody went, huh? <laughs> Andrew Williams' late father, Ross, was in the video clip. Good day. Had, had a ball. The star did part of his shoot on Victor Webber's property. It was interesting just to see a man in action and uh, obviously you don't forget. No one knows exactly why David Bowie chose Corinda or its circa 1930 pub. His message, though, was clear. My idea was to present an Indigenous people right. in a capitalist, white, mainly white society right. and the problems of the interrelationships between the two. The local is now an international attraction. These photos were given to us so we could see which way to put the wall back together. And... The pub's new owner, Malcolm George, has restored the wall to the same tiled background as the video clip. Sometimes in one week you'll get, you know, different travellers, 10, 12. Back in the early to mid-80s, Corinda had a population of 100 just in town. Now it's closer to 40. Industries have closed down and drought has taken a heavy toll. Today, locals here are mourning their most famous visitor. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News, Corinda.